Hello, you're watching 360 News, I'm Huda Musharik, and here are the headlines. Obesity is a very common phenomenon in this region, especially with young students. Bariatric surgery has been the solution. More on this with our reporter, Dima Hamadi. Hissa Salim struggled with her weight since she was 10. The AOS students plans to have a bariatric surgery after her graduation. I've seen my doctor, and he told me about the risks, but I hope everything goes well. I know a few of my friends who, do, uh, who have done the surgery and they look fantastic and healthy. I just want to lose weight. Many young students seek this option as they look for a quick result even though they are risk. I really want a fast solution. I've been trying dieting, exercising, but nothing works. And I want a fast solution. Is the surgery becoming a trend for young students rather than trying to lose weight in the traditional way? Dima Hamadi, 360 News. A junior student at AUS successfully manages to cope with her studies after coming back from her honeymoon. More on this with our reporter, Sheikh Al Falasi. Dima Al Hamadi, a student at AUS, gets married in spring break 2016. Al Hamadi manages to balance between her marriage and university life. Yeah, when I first got engaged, um, my parents and I agreed under one condition I had to continue my studies at AUS. Being a student at one of the hardest and prestigious universities, it is rare to find a married student. This means extra responsibilities in addition to the ones they already have. When I came back from my honeymoon, I attended the, the first class the next day. I found some difficulties to balance between my marriage life and my studies in the first two weeks. Um, later, my husband started supporting me and he helped me manage my time to balance between both marriage and studies. Will this story open the doors and influence other students at AUS? Will it be the norms in the near future? Sheikh Al Falasi, 360 News. Finding courses during registration week is very hard for sophomores and freshmen at AUS. Most of them can get lucky through the waiting list, but others have to wait until next semester. More on this with our reporter, Hassel Samahi. Registration starts this week at AUS. Many students find it very stressful to get in their desired courses because of the lack of seat number. Sophomore, and our registration starts at the end of the week. By that time, seniors and juniors will take all the courses. At the end of the day, I need to put my name in the waiting list, even though it's not guaranteed. I'm trying to get this course. Many students fall behind because of this registration issue. The AUS students will continue struggling until there is an action done by the Registrar Office. Hassad Samahi, 360 News. And that is 360 News for this night. But for now, for myself, with Al-Mashariq and my team, have a good night.